School is out for the summer, but districts across the area are deciding their budgets for the upcoming year. That includes the Hollidaysburg Area School District, where the vote tonight could determine the fate of some extracurricular activities, athletics, and class sizes. It's all centered on whether a tax increase will be approved. Our Jack McCune is following this for us and joins us now live. And Jack, we understand you spoke with the superintendent and the teachers union president. So what can you tell us? Matt and Maggie, usually tax increases are unwelcomed here by community members, but there are a number of parents arguing that this tax increase is needed. They started a petition saying, in part, our children are priceless and say an increase would be a small price to pay to invest in their future. And at last check, they are nearing their 1,000 person goal on the petition, but the decision is still split among school leaders. Extracurriculars, sports, and student teacher connections are all key parts of any school district. But Hollidaysburg area says it needs help to keep some of its programs afloat. We're already running our district at a pretty uh, bare bones operation with funding. Um, doing it any further would jeopardize the ability of students to gain a proper education. Union President Michael Rollins says the tax increase would be around $4. He teaches social studies at the senior high school, and he says his district is overdue for updates. We're already operating in many departments within the high school with textbooks that are um, older than a lot of our staff members. The school board voted on the same thing last week, and they voted for no increase. Superintendent Dr. Robert Gilday says if the answer stays no, they will have to make more cuts. They could be both in programs and staffing. But Gilday says room to work with is already running low. We're in the bottom 10% in per pupil expenditure. Gilday adds his district gets 46% of its funding from state government, which is less than other nearby districts like Altoona, Claysburg, and Williamsburg. This means that the majority of their funding comes locally. Our expenses are skyrocketing, and our state funding is actually dropping over the past five years we've got an average of just over 1% increase in our state funding. So something's got to give. The vote tonight is here at the senior high school at 7, and all are welcome to speak during a public comments section before the school board makes their final decision here tonight. In Hollidaysburg, Jack McCune, WTAJ News. Jack, thank you.